CES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names and web hosting services. New GoDaddy customers save 25% by using the promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. Continuing coverage of CES 2011, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine and the Tech Podcast Network, and we're here at the LG booth. A uh, pretty good staple in CES for the last few years, some great innovations that come out of here, and now they're getting into the whole set top over the ether over ethernet type box love love to see it all love to see all the applications that come out and now lg has it so we got mark here from lg lg standing for life's good this is something that's really good tell us about what you got right here yep so smart tv is kind of a big focus for us this year in uh, 2011 we're going to have a lot of different connected products uh, that are falling under the smart umbrella we're going to have uh, smart tvs we're going to have blu-ray players that uh, have smart in them and one of the products that we're really excited about is our smart tv upgrader uh, a couple of things about smart tv there's kind of four principal things that go into smart tv the first one is our premium content providers lg's been since 2008 we were the first ones to ever do Netflix and a Blu-ray player that you can stream. Okay. We're going to continue that and expand the amount of premium content providers. Uh, so not only Netflix and Vudu, we're going to add Amazon Video On Demand, Hulu Plus, Major League Baseball, NHL, NBA. The list is about 20 that will ship on all of our smart products this year. But we're going to take it a step further. Uh, this spring when we launch our smart products, we'll also be launching our LG App Store. The App Store is going to launch with over 200 applications ready to go. Uh, it's going to be from uh, mainstream content providers like CNN, the Food Network, Comedy Central, to online uh, providers as well. Uh, anything from The Onion to Funny or Die will actually have applications. Well, and, and Tech Podcast. Tech Podcast. Um, <laughs> The one thing I, I'm, I'm sad to say, at launch, we are not going to have Farmville, which I know is heartbreaking, but we have a solution for you Farmville fans out there because all of our smart products are going to have a full functioning web browser on there. So you can go to actually the Facebook.com and make sure you're farming your cherries and your strawberries and fun stuff like that. It's a full functioning web browser. It's going to include uh, support for Flash 10. So you'll be able to get a lot of different uh, online providers like that. And then all of our devices, smart devices, are DNLA certified. So you can take those podcasts that you've already downloaded, stream them directly to your device, your music, your pictures, uh, everything that you can uh, do with that. What's really exciting, though, is our smart TV upgrader. Uh, people have already gone out and bought really great TVs this holiday season. And now they're going to see this great stuff on your podcast and go, wow. How do I get that? Now, one option is throwing away the old TV and buying a brand new 2011 LG TV. That's an option that I have. Or they, they can purchase the uh, LG Smart Box. And this Smart Box connects via HDMI, so it's actually not exclusive to work with LG TVs. Work with any brand uh, manufactured TV that has an HDMI port. Uh, it's integrated Wi-Fi as well as a wire connection uh, that's built into it. Uh, it comes with a very simple remote, um, kind of a point and click remote, up, down, left, right. And it's really, really easy to use but it can be a little cumbersome to type. So with all of our smart devices this year, uh, initially at launch, all iOS devices, so iPod Touch, iPad, iPhone, as well as Android, there'll be a smartphone app where you can actually control the smart, smart product, as well as use the keyboard on there to type. So that's really, what we find with our customers is, it's a little cumbersome to kind of type with the point and click. They don't necessarily though want a full size keyboard on their coffee table. Chances are they have a smartphone sitting in their pocket. They already know how to use the keyboard on that. Let's just give them an app where they can use that. So they can watch a movie on Netflix and go, wow, this is awesome. Go to Facebook right from their TV and post, wow, this movie is fantastic. You guys should all check out uh, this movie. The smart box is going to be shipping in quarter two. Okay. Uh, retail price is $129. Wow, you just answered every single question that I could have even given to you. I've done a few of these uh, over the last four days. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at the interface really yeah. quick. Let's see how easy it is to actually connect up here. So we kind of divided it into four tabs. So as I mentioned, the premium tab, uh, these are kind of some of the uh, highlighted uh, applications that we have. If I click the expand button, it's going to bring it into, for customers that have had our uh, 2010 products, it's bring it into kind of what we call our netcast system. And you'll see a lot of different things. DivX TV, we already talked about uh, a little bit before, uh, off camera, and that's where you can get uh, your podcast through. Uh, we were the first ones to actually do DivX TV. Uh, and this is where you'll find Hulu Plus, yeah. Major League Baseball, NHL. This is not a finalized list that's out there. What I really like, I'm looking at this background. It's It's got the weather from Alber, Al, Albany, yep. I can speak. And it, it must be snowing in Albany. It, it is. I'm scared. To, I'm from Minneapolis. I'm really scared to put in and see what it's doing uh, there. Back <laughs> I, I'm, I'm five hours south of you, and I'm scared myself. Yeah. So It's a balmy 50 in Vegas. Yeah. Only, only people <laughs> from the Midwest would say that. Um, 
Then we go back to our main screen, back to our home uh, dashboard here. This is where our app store is. And like I said, we're gonna launch with 200 applications with this. So if I just expand out, uh, you'll be able to search by category. So you'll have games, entertainment, news. Um, initially, the first uh, apps that we're launching uh, when Smart TV launches, they're all gonna be free. Content providers will be able to uh, charge for apps if they want to or do a subscription. We're working, it's a very open plat platform that we're working with. Um, so you can see just kind of how easy it is to use. If I was actually to click on something like uh, National Geographic, just click on the uh, the app itself, click the install button, it'll take about uh, a minute or so to actually install the app. Um, lastly, our web browser, as I mentioned, is a full function web browser. You have the ability to put your bookmarks into it. Um, so these are some of the ones that we have, and it's a full functioning web browser. So we'll go to CNN here, see what's happening in the world today. I don't know if I want to do that. I haven't caught up on my uh, news yet. Really quick, uh, you said it was wireless. Uh, wireless N, wireless G? B, G, and N. All of them. On, on all models, yep. okay. Yep, and it's integrated in there so there's no dongle uh, hanging out the back. And HDMI only on the uh, output? Correct. Okay, perfect. And you said the price point already? 129 available quarter two. Quarter two. And where do people go to find out more information? Uh, LGE.com. All right, cool. Well, Mark, thank I you really very much. Thank you, Jeffrey. Time. For the Tech Podcast Network and coverage of CES 2011, I'm going to get this when it comes out. This is Jeffrey Powers.